peoples. Today, I am doing my Battleground 2014 predictions. Okay. Um, before I get to the card, I gotta say, Battleground looks okay. Looks like it's a pretty stacked card this year. Hopefully it will trump last year's. But, um, yeah. It looks like a stacked card, except, like, one match I really kind of don't care about. So let's get to the matches. Number one, the after show, pre-show, after show, pre-show match. Cameron versus Naomi. I'm probably not going to watch it. Naomi's going to win. It's going to be a squash match. Leave it at that. Cameron sucks. I don't think she can do a full 10-minute match. She's not even... I'm not saying Naomi can. I know Naomi can have a good 10-minute match. You just got to give her that opponent, like AJ, Paige, or Natalia, maybe. But definitely, I think Val will pull like a 10-minute match out of her. But Cameron, I don't think she can do a full 10 minutes. <clears throat> then, on apparently, Rusev, um, Damian Sandow, and Adam Rose has been added. Apparently, that's a match now. Adam Rose is gonna win. We had this at Money in the Bank. It's gonna be a ridiculous match. I, I, it's a... Then, okay. Probably most likely gonna be the first... I, I think Sandown Rose might be the opener. If not that, this match. Jack Swagger versus Rusev. Honestly, it, it, it's actually been good. I'm happy Swagger has something. Because he's needed this for a while. I think he's good as a face. Especially with um, Zeb Coulter, it's working. People are doing the weaving people. I'm still not the biggest fan, but the feud's kind of interesting. I didn't think it happened. But it also, it's also Lana, that's why. But um, who I think's going to win? I think Rusev. Because they're gonna, they want to make Rusev so dominant. Don't have him lose. And he's only, he's only been in the company two months, two, three months now. And I think let him have this winning streak. Maybe last it. Up until maybe close to the end of the year, maybe. Let him just be dominant. I think having him lose right now would just kind of devalue him. And it, plus, it could set up possibility for a match at SummerSlam. Because we can have a good, decent undercard for that. So, uh, there's that. Um, the Intercontinental Championship Battle Royal. I'm not doing it in a uh, certain order. Most likely, this match might be a little bit later in the show. Uh, I'm not naming everyone who's in it. Okay, fine. Del Rio, Big E, Bo Dallas, Cesaro, Curtis Axel, Diego. Why? Okay, he's random. There's a lot of random people. Dolph Ziggler, Fandango, Heath Slater, Kofi, RVD, R-Truth, Ryback, Sheamus, Sin Cara, The Great Khali, The Miz, Titus O'Neil, Xavier Woods, and Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder's gonna be like the first one eliminated. Who do I think's gonna win? Um, uh, maybe it's gonna come down to two. Cesaro's one, which I want. Um, honestly, I think Cesaro's the only one I, I personally want to win. I think Cesaro, he needs this. Give him the title. This is something he needs. You know, just let him... He needs this. Um, <clears throat> the other option is not one I want, Seamus. That'll be, a, in my opinion, that'd be such a shitty way to unify the titles, though. Because, like, with the WWE title, we had a match to unify. We should do the same thing. Do Sheamus versus Cesaro at SummerSlam. That'd be a good match. Because they had some good matches these past couple of months. They've had some good matches. So I think it could pull it off. So Cesaro for that one. AJ versus Paige for the Divas Championship. Um, I'm happy for this. I'm happy we're finally getting the match. I have been waiting for three months for this. I'm happy AJ's back. Um, I'm happy. I think finally it's good. I think she can do good as a face. <clears throat> and then also, turn Paige heel, which I think will happen at the pay-per-view, I think. But um, AJ versus Paige, who I think is going to win. I honestly could see either one way, but I personally think AJ just because she's only been champion a month. Don't, don't take it off her. Because then, that, to me, whenever you do hot potato with any championship, I mean, especially the, the world title, but in my opinion, any title, that instantly devalues it. Even though, and I'm not saying the Divas title is that <clears throat> valuable, but when you have a person like AJ holding it, that puts some value into it. And let AJ hold it, you know, don't take it off for a month. Because then we're going to, if you do it that way, that'd be kind of shitty. To me, it will. I mean, 
I know we need to find a way we can do a rematch at um, SummerSlam, but there still has to be another way. So I think AJ's going to win, and then after the match, Paige may shake her hand and then turn heel. That's what I think is going to happen. Um, Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins. Um, so, God, people are questioning whether or not it's going to happen because... Seth Rollins injured his knee. It's fake. It's been said that it's storyline injury, kayfabe injury. This match is still going to happen. I think I'm happy for this feud. This is probably going to be that feud of the year. I don't know any feud this year so far that I've enjoyed as much as this because they're two friends, former friends. It's that storyline. It's kind of like Triple H versus Shawn Michaels of 2002. You know, you have that former friends that were like brothers. And then one guy turns heel. Same thing with Matt, what, what Matt and Jeff could have been. But this could be good. Um, Storyline purposes, Rollins needs to win. And you can even have him cheat to win. That will be a way. Like, maybe have him roll Dean's tights. Or someone attacks some um, Ambrose before the match. Maybe Kane. Before the match starts, give, Kane gives him a beat down. You can do that, you know? Or even Rollins ambush R Ambrose. But there... Some way, Rollins is going to win. He needs to win. Storyline purposes. Because if you have Dean Ambrose winning, I feel like then Dean Ambrose beats him. You know, maybe <clears throat> Rollins needs to win here and then do a match at SummerSlam. And then maybe have Ambrose win that one and then they have a finale match at Night of Champions. There you go. The Usos versus the Wyatts, Harper and Rowan for the Tag Team Championships. Two out of three falls. I'm happy we got this. I think this match will be 30 minutes. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I should should have did minutes. Never mind. But I think this match is going to be 30. It has to be over 20. I'm pretty sure at least like 25 minutes. Because you got Ambrose. and I mean, you got this two out of three falls. Um, I think because I, I can see this is a one thing. <laughs> I'm happy, even though there hasn't been that much except matches, but they've been pulling out some good matches here. So, it's hard, because I want to say the Usos, but at the same time, they've had the belts for five months. I think they can drop them now. I wouldn't mind them losing to the Whites, and then they have a blow-off match at SummerSlam. Why not? And have that one be like a stipulation match. Bray Wyatt versus Chris Jericho. Another potential match of the night. Um... The potential match of the Knights are Bray Wyatt and Jericho, Usos, Wyatt, Ambrose, and Roll Rollins are the three. I think that could be match of the night. Um, Bray Wyatt and Jericho, I'm liking this feud. You got two great mic workers. I think mm, I'm happy they're putting Bray Wyatt. They're treating him like a legend. Even he, even though he lost that payback to Cena, and Bray Wyatt. Well, then again, Bray Wyatt was in the title about ladder match, probably why he wasn't doing much, but now we got him working with Jericho. Storyline purposes, I think Bray should win. We didn't even have him cheat, because I feel like Bray beat Jericho there, maybe have Jericho, and then they move on to SummerSlam, Jericho beats Wyatt there, maybe they have a blow-off match at Money in the Bank, at Money in the Bank, Night of Champions, so I think for storyline purposes, Bray Wyatt needs to win. I think that's it. Well, yeah, that's it. For now, to the main event. The Fatal 4-Way for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Which, I don't know why they're calling it the World Heavyweight Championship. Because apparently, on Raw, Cena gave the world title to Ric Flair. So are we just back to the WWE title again? Um, I heard rumors they're going to... I'm sorry, I'm digressing from the matches. I'm hearing they might retire the world title. I think that's the best thing. Because the World Heavyweight Championship hasn't been valuable in a while. But that's... Well, I guess it's just for the WWE Championship. John Cena versus Kane versus Randy Orton versus Roman Reigns. Uh, do I even have to say John Cena? Come on. I, I, I don't see anyone else winning it. I don't see Kane and Orton winning. Story, I think Kane and Orton are going to turn on each other. I have a feeling because Orton RKO Kane on Raw. So I think Kane's going to chokeslam Orton. Roman Reigns spears Kane and then... Cena pins rank or something like that. But Cena's winning this match and he's gonna go on to face Lesnar at SummerSlam. So guys, this was my battleground. 
Do I think it's worth watching? Yeah, I, I, I give it a watch. This looks like it's a pretty stacked show. Except the main event. The main event's not that great. It might be a decent Fatal 4-Way, but I don't see it being a major, major match. But I think it's to be worth it. It looks like it's going to be a decent pay-per-view. This has been my Battleground preview, and t tomorrow I'm going to do a dedication video to my favorite wrestler of all time, CM Punk. Peace.